Hey guys, welcome back to Set Streets and Eats. I'm Chris Bauer. I am in Fairbanks, Alaska, and today I'm gonna go do something that's pretty cool. It's about an hour outside of Fairbanks, and it's called the Chena Hot Springs. And basically it's a giant hot pool, of very hot water, right in the middle of snow and ice. And people get in it, and there's a lot of things to do right around there on the same uh, resort property. And we're gonna go check those out, and I hope you come along with me. I'm Chris Bauer, and I am an art slinger. I travel around the U.S. selling artwork at comic and anime conventions, and while I'm there, I like to check out cool sites, eat great food, and see all the places my favorite movies and TV shows are made. Welcome to Sets, Streets, and Eats. coming then. That is a big old moose I almost hit. I literally looked down for a moment, looked up, and there was a moose literally walking right in front of the car. I screamed hilariously while sliding on ice, trying to swerve out of the way. Luckily, it hurried itself across, and I missed it. So then, of course, I turned the car around, jumped out, and you saw the little bit. I could still see of him before he disappeared into the forest. God, that thing was huge, though. Oh, my God. So cool. This guy's buried. His car is here till spring, clearly. <laughs> Good God. That's funny. Here we are at the hot springs pool. Oh, it's cold out here. I'm about to go down to the hot springs. First, I'm gonna go to the overlook. Oh, it's super cold. Oh my God, so cold. Oh, oh this is awesome.
another one. Smile. Big. So the water comes out of the ground at 160 degrees and they use these cooling spouts which you probably can't see behind me but there's a big spout of water shooting over here and it cools the water down to 106 but there's still pockets of that much hotter water especially behind me over by those rocks it's boily just lava no big deal pretty awesome this is the cooling spout, which is causing a lot of the steam. <clears throat> oh, man. And then, of course, you got all the snow all the way around the rocks. It's pretty awesome. Ooh, that's hot. Yeah, I will go in Praise and God. <laughs> no big deal, just snow. Magic. Actually, that feels really nice. I would imagine here in the summer this is probably pretty harsh. Uh -uh. It wasn't so cloudy tonight. We'd have a shot at seeing the northern lights, but there is no sky to be seen. Not tonight. Oh man, this feels really good.
I feel like this is the uh, the crystal thing from uh, Fortress of Solitude and but Superman. That's what we need. And like, shoo, and then the Fortress of Solitude pops out. This is pretty cool. Um, it's a you know, it's uh, fifteen dollars for the Ice Museum tour, and this isn't really a museum, but it's basically a uh, well, it's just got sculptures and whatnot. But fifteen bucks for that, or if you want also a drink to add on, that's fifteen dollars as well and everything's ice in here and it stays up year round um yeah it's pretty neat 
All right, here next to the hot springs. Uh, you can come out here and do the hot springs. You can do the ice bar, the ice museum. And then they have snowmobiling. They have uh, lots of hiking and, and all other kinds of stuff. They have a beautiful restaurant. Uh, lots of really, really cool stuff to do. Um, I have definitely enjoyed my visit to the hot springs. I am going to finish it with one of those martinis. It's an apple teeny. Never had one of those, but I'm absolutely certain I'm going to like it. They've got the song Ice Ice Baby playing on a loop. <laughs> They get into it. I like it. seats to keep your booties warm. So it's a really cool place. I'm definitely looking forward to uh, my turn at the bar here. Um, I've definitely seen a lot of ice sculptures this week. Um, Fairbanks is definitely known for them, and I see why, because the quality is insane. You just don't see it anywhere else like this. Maybe in Europe, I don't know. I've never been. Oh, that is very spilly. Wow. So we're going to take the glass with us <laughs> to do something with it outside. to do is bring your apple teeny glass out to the parking lot and for good luck you're supposed to throw it down on the ground you can see the remnants of many others before us so here we go and let's hope that uh, I don't hit a moose on the way back because that's what I wished for well, that does it for my time here. I really enjoyed my visit to uh, China Hot Springs. 
Uh, if you go to Fairbanks, you'll probably enjoy your visit as well. Uh, they do tours out of it uh, daily. Uh, they're a little pricey, but because I already had a rental car, I decided to go ahead and drive myself. The drive's a bit treacherous, but you know, well, I've only done the way here. I haven't done the way back, so it's going to get a little bit more treacherous now that it's dark. But uh, either way, it was a lot of fun. Like I said, there's a lot more to do here that I didn't do. I just went to the ice bar and the museum and of course enjoyed the hot springs. Uh, there's a ton more to do here. You can stay here. They have a lodge here, uh, cabins. They have regular uh, hotel rooms, all that. Um, but I ought to look into it. It's pretty cool. Definitely recommend it.